Can we build an Electron app for Mac using Cursor? That is what we are going to explore today. I want to push the boundaries of Cursor. One, you can complain that Cursor is just a VS Code fork and not do anything, but you can be on the other side where you can use it to your advantage. That is what I'm trying to do through this series of videos. I'm going to start with a very simple Electron quick start. The objective of this video is to build something that is like a photo editor. Let's call it a Canva clone. Not exactly like Canva, but it is easy to brand it. So we're going to build a Canva clone and we're going to run this locally on my Mac. We're going to use Electron for that. So I'm going to start with Electron. So we have got a repo that is like a quick start. I've opened my terminal and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my documents and I'm going to paste this command. So this is a very simple template to get started with Electron. So we're going to start with these set of basic files. So we're going to open this run this, this is going to clone the repo and then enter into the repo and then install all the required libraries and start it. For you to get started with this, uh, you need to have Node.js installed on your machine. Uh, in my case, I already have that thing. So once you have uh, this entire thing, then you have to just run this. It will technically run without any issue. And this is our very basic Electron JS application. But what we want to do is we want to do much more than this and we want to do a photo editing app. So let's get started with that. Let's stop it. And again, very simply, if you want to run it after this, you all you have to do is NPM start and it will run itself. Then this is what you're going to get. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just close this and close this and we're going to open this in cursor. So if you don't have this configuration set up, I would encourage you to watch my basic cursor tutorial. So you will get to know all these things. So I'm not going to explain cursor per se in this. We are going to just simply get onto the job and then do whatever we want. And what we want, we want to create a very simple application that is like a photo editing application. And uh, we need like a very simple demo for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to say Canva photo editor and uh, photo editor editor. And once I do that, you are going to see a very simple interface like this. I'm going to copy the simple interface here. Okay. And I'm just going to keep it. Now I'm going to go back to my cursor. And as you can see here, I've already entered the cursor. So I don't have cursor rules here. One of the easiest things that you can do is you can have a cursor rules file in the root folder that basically designs the, the boundaries and guardrails about like how you want this application to be. I'm not going ahead with that. I'm going to just invoke my composer and I'm going to add this file first of all. And uh, I'm going to say this is an electron, electron JS app. I want to make this app to be a basic photo, to be a photo editor, photo editor. I want to call this Manva, yeah, Canva clone. Um, um, this should have functionalities like brightness, contrast, saturation, other options like vignette, vin, vignette and so on. There should be a basic upload and save function. Make sure you test all the files to files for it to work properly and keep the UI um, following Mac OS app rules. Also make sure the UI is modern design. And after we do this, I'm going to do command shift enter. And when I do command shift enter, it is going to start creating multiple files. As you can see here right now, there is only one composer file. It is going to either create multiple files or edit multiple files on the go. This is honestly like one of the best features of cursor. You can do the same thing with either. Um, I've tried with either and uh, I tried either with uh, Google um, Gemini 1.5 flash. So you can use whatever tool you want. And uh, here we are actually using cursor. Also, if there is more interest for either, let me know. I'll, I'll probably try. And uh, given that Google Gemini 1.5 flash is at this point, kind of like free API calls are there. We can try. I'm going to just simply blindly accept all, um, but not a very good practice. And you, you can see that these are the files that we have changed. I'm not going to do anything at all. I'm just going to go back to my terminal 
and all I'm going to do is run this. Um, so I'm blindly assuming everything is working. So it says cannot find the module gym. So where does it happen? You can see that it is inside the main.js. Let's go to main.js and we can see this. I'm going to close the composer and I, I can click this uh, and copy this or sorry, I can just chat with that command L and then say, what does it say? It says module. I think I have to install this separately. Let's see, uh, require gym cannot find module gym. I guess I have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. As I guessed, uh, this is what I have to do. I can basically go to my terminal and then do this. Um, or I can go to my warp, stop this, do this here. It's going to install the file and then we're going to run it. These are certain nuances, which you probably need to know. And, uh, as you can see here, we have a beautiful app and I have Manva. Uh, I can open the image, save the image, brightness, contrast, saturation, vignette. And there is some issue. I'm not sure if it will work. So I'm going to open the folders and I'm going to open one of the images that I have got, which is the cursor image, increase the brightness. Okay. Brightness is working fine. That's interesting. Contrast is working fine. Saturation. Yeah, I guess it is working. Maybe it takes a lot of compute. It seems it's slowly changing vignette. I'm not sure if vignette is working. Yeah, I'm not sure if vignette is working. Okay, cool. And can I save the image? Uh, let's say coding with cursor, save the image. Cool. So we have managed to create a very, very basic photo editor and it kind of works. Uh, it uses the same screenshot that we gave so that, you know, it has that, uh, you can see that the slider and all these things, it used the screenshot that we gave. What we can now do is we can make some changes. For example, right now it has got a very simple UI open composer. The current app looks great. Can we add more functionalities? of a typical photo editor that might work on Mac. Feel free to use any Mac feature for the same. Okay. So all I'm going to say this command shift enter and I expected to edit all the files at this point, but I guess at this point, um, it's mostly fine. I guess we have a decent, so it is going to add image adjustment crop some filters, updating the main.js. It's going to add a toolbar, drag and drop to open images. See, in this case, it's trying to act itself like a pro product manager. One other thing that you can also do is you can prompt a chat GPT or a cloud separately and make them behave like a product manager, get the roadmap and give it here. And that is another easy option. Uh, for you to make these tools uh, to act like product manager, get the roadmap, come here and then code. So you have like different roles. One is acting like a product manager. The other one is acting like a, I don't know if you need a product manager, just saying. So yeah, that's, um, you can, you can be a developer and do all those things. Okay. So it's, uh, it's updating the code, but somehow it, uh, it is doing a bunch of weird things. I hope it did not mess up anything. Let's see. I'm going to go back to my terminal, save this start. And I have, uh, I have all these things. So it's got to open, save, undo, redo crop. Cool. I think there is a problem with the icon. So let's figure out the icon thing later. I'm going to use the same picture, increase the brightness. Cool. Hue. Yep. Hue is working. Vignette. Vignette. Yep. Vignette is working. Wow. Vignette is working. I can make this grayscale sepia vintage vintage is not working. I think there is, there is a vintage vintage error. Uh, posterize is working. So except one filter, everything else. Can I blur it? Wow. It can also blur it. It's nice. Uh, we might have to like, just fix the icons. Cool. Let's go back to cursor. The font awesome icons that are used for the toolbar are not visible at all are there if there are any 
alternative alternative icon pack feel free to use it yeah i don't know why this is not working and i don't know why we did not also okay it's using material icons cool let's update google material icons it's going to make changes to the index file so it's changing the icons there okay that is good making another change here that is good making another change here that is good yep i think overall all the changes that we wanted to make are done i want to go back to my terminal start brilliant let's close this we have opened we have saved is this undo and redo let's see okay i can do this i don't know if i can crop maybe that is not an option it seems saturation works hue works yeah so sepia grayscale and uh, the blur actually works and i can save so final image so we have designed a kind of a canva clone which can do brightness contrast saturation hue blur sharpen vignette grayscale sepia vintage is not working posterize uh, we have to fix the crop so there is room for improvement and uh, yeah so we have manva which is a canva clone coded using electron js uh, powered by cursor with claude 3.5 sonnet a lot of error debugging i'm going to leave the error debugging as it is if somebody wants to watch it and then fix it but if you're bored just skip it see you in another video happy prompting